Hi there, Massimo from the Blue Root team. And today I wanna to show you something that many of our clients ask. They often ask how to customize a homepage. What Zoho gives you out of the box is sometimes sufficient and it's very helpful. However, a lot of people want to have homepages per type of user or per role. They might wanna have homepages that have a lot more um, kind of standard data like this in columns and rows and then they might want to have other home pages that are much more graphical with pie charts and bar charts and things of that nature so Zoho actually gives you the opportunity to customize home pages and at a role level so for example you can roll out a home page to all salespeople and so you can manage one home page that will roll out across across the company depending on their role which is super helpful especially for larger organizations so in order to do that, you're gonna hit settings in the top right. Then you're gonna go ahead and go to customize homepage under customization. Once you're here in this example, I haven't made one yet. This is a demo account. You may have already made one and you're looking for some tips, but most people will get here and there will be no homepage. So I'm gonna hit plus. Now this is the wizard Zoho gives you and it's actually very useful. So number one, you should name it. So I will say, hello YouTube, homepage. You should probably name it something more relevant uh, to your use case. And then you have kind of two things you can put on the homepage. So as you saw in the beginning, there is the more standard view, which is like columns and rows. Those would be under custom views. So you could see here, any custom view that you have in contacts, households, service calls, you can pull from. So for example, if I choose service calls, I could say, show me all my upcoming installs. Once you actually get a piece of data, whether it's this view or a dashboard in a minute, you can actually resize it. So I'm gonna leave it this size. You can also make it longer, right? So I'm gonna leave it the default size. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take a dashboard. Now I haven't created many, uh, but I just wanna show you how to grab one. And we have other videos on our YouTube page that teach you how to create dashboards. So I'm not gonna focus on that today. Um, these are out of box dashboards that Zoho gives you. So if you've created your own dashboards following our other videos, you would see them here as well. So if I click service call insights, you can see there are a number of dashboards already prominent or showing on service call project insights. So now I'll go ahead and hit revenue this month. So this is like a little widget and then I can go revenue lost and I can go service call. Etc. So you can keep adding them. And as you can see, Zoho auto arranges things for you. Now, if you say, well, this one, I actually want to go down here and this, I want to make larger things of that nature. These widgets, you actually can't make larger, but if I were to take something like this, I could actually drag it over and maybe I drag this back up and make this full width, right? So you can see now that you're starting to build a homepage that's useful for your users. Once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and hit save. And now this is where the, the really nice part comes in. You can share it with certain roles. So in this system, we only have two. We have other YouTube videos explaining how to give roles to different users and data permission and stuff like that. However, now I could roll it out to manager. So let's say every manager in the company, I want to be able to see this and we'll hit save. Now, when the managers come in, they might not be able to see it the first time. What they will actually have to do is choose their homepage. So it'll by default show the classic. You'll have to tell them, okay, when you come in, go ahead and choose Hello YouTube in my scenario homepage. Theirs might be called Manager Homepage. This will allow them to see exactly what you put on there. Now, based on their privacy and data permission, it'll change the charts. So if they're only allowed to see their records, they'd only see their records in the chart. If they're allowed to see their records and people below them, that's what they would see in the chart. If you want to be able to see the homepage in the actual, um, the share settings. So if I go here and then edit properties, you'd have to put yourself or your role in here as well. If you actually want to see it on a homepage. So you could see it's here now, right? So that's another thing that a lot of clients come back to us and say, Hey, I can't see the homepage and I just made it for my whole company. What's going on? You have to share it with yourself or click here, customize homepage, or hit settings, customize homepage, and you can go find it on the back end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment below if you want more like this. Cheers.